Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to create a patch for your contributed module. So today I'm going to create a patch for uh, link it module. So let me download it and show you how to create a patch. You have to create a patch when you have a, a requirement customization for your contributed module. In that case, you can create a patch and you can keep it in your uh, Drupal folder and you can use it when, when we're running the composer command. Or else, if you are going to contribute to Drupal and if you want to create a patch, in that case, you can go with this. So let me tell you how to do that first. So first, you have to download this module. So I'm in a Drupal project. I'm going to download it. Composer require Drupal slash link it. Normally, we will be uh, downloading the module by using this command. Today, we are going to create a patch. So you have to run a command with refer source. So it, what it will do, it will be cloning your particular module. It will not be downloading. So when you run this command, it will download. When you add this, it will be like it will be cloning the module. So it's done. Now go to the module on web modules contrib link it. So you can see the module is cloned and you can see some version is displaying since it's cloned and we run command with prefer source. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do some changes and I'm going to show you how to create a patch. So this is the module and I'm just opening the module file. So here I will add some command, switch case for name. Now I added it. So I made a, some I made some changes now. Now I will go here and I will do it status. So you can see this file alone got modified. You can do git diff and you can check whether the changes is correct or not. So you can see only this line is added. Now I'm going to create a patch. For that you have to do git diff greater than symbol, the file name. So link it, switch case command dot patch. So once you've done this, if you go to the module, and here you can see the patch will be created. Here you can see the patch is created. If you open the complete uh, patch file is here. So this is how you have to create a patch. In next video, I will tell you how to use this patch in your contribute in your project with the composer. And that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.